Well, hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the back shed. This is uh, what is this episode number 39? Today is December 28th, 2020. And I have a co host with me this morning. This is my amazing, beautiful daughter, Audrey. And our dog just banged on the shed. And our dog just stayed on the shed door. So she's, uh, we, we, what did we do? We kicked her out, didn't we, Audrey? There she is. She's moving over there. Yeah, she's hanging out outside, wishing she could be in. I think she wants to bite me if she was in here. She, I kind of, I think she probably would. Good morning, Donna. Good to see you. And uh, Donna's been uh, excited to see you here. Yep. See, right down there, we have our little, uh, we can tell who's talking to us and what they're saying. Um, and uh, let's see, what else is happening today, Audrey? Uh, you brought a special friend with you, didn't you? It's Elsa. Yep. Elsa is hanging out with us this morning in the shed Speaking so of hanging, I, my, I got her in my stocking you did get her in your stocking yes how was that how was christmas good yeah we got a nintendo switch yeah the the parents finally broke down and uh Even and had bought the video game console Oh no. And oh no. Uh, someone said, What a pretty girl. Right? Oh no, they kicked us off the internet. I and our dog is entertaining. Oh, and you're yeah. okay. started again. Are we on? Oh, good. It connected, and I was like, Ooh. "Hello." I was like, right. Hello. Um. I was like, hello. Our internet went out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, there's, there's somebody in the other room and they were, they were, uh, they were having fun with, no, they were cleaning around the internet um, router and it unplugged the internet in our house. So I had to run back there, and plug it, plug it back in. This time it wasn't sunshine. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. Oh, this is already fun. Um, <laughs> So, Wayne, good morning, Wayne. Yes, it is warm enough in the back shed because I bought a heater, right? It's awesome. So it's nice and toasty in here. Um, and, uh, oh, D, you have puppies? What, what kind of puppies do you have, D? That would be awesome. Do you want a puppy? We already have one, no, we but don't. she was way cuter when she was a puppy. <laughs> she was, right. But she was so mellow. She was mellow, right? Her face was like so cute. And now what is she? 
<laughs> she's wild, isn't she? Yeah. Um, and she's sniffing around the yard. And her she, thing. She's doing she pretty well today out there. Like she's just she's just having a good time. And we'll, we filled in her hole. So should I? She's like, yeah, we're doing some some projects here. I'll turn. I'll get the puppy cam going here in a second here, so Wait, we can. Wait, you have the puppy cam? We have the puppy cam. I have to plug it in. Um, Where is it? Oh, I don't know. I have too many things plugged in here to this mess. Oh. Let's see here. Let's do this one. Let's see here. We're going to go with. Captain Sauce. Okay. Let's see if we can get the puppy cam going. Yes, I hope I can. I hope we can too. Ah, there it is. Okay, here we go. There is sunshine right there <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> She's staring at She's us. just now notice notice the wall of the house that she banged up. Yeah, she is just having a blast. Um there she goes. And there she goes on her way out. So yeah. there's us. That's that's the uh Hi. looking looking back from up here. So yep. if you're ever wondering what the setup looks like, and look at that. See that thing right there? I got a new studio microphone. That was what I got for Christmas, which was yeah. uh, kind of fun And I from saw April. it in the package. Yep. You can also see how delayed we are on the video feed by uh, seeing where it is while I'm talking versus mm -hmm. what you guys are seeing. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> and uh, and so on. So, um, okay. So let's turn off that camera because that's Wait, driving me better. Puppy. Yeah, she's somebody? out there roaming around. So... <laughs> There you go. Um, let's see here. What a good list. Okay, so here's what everyone so um, There are five Colorado license plates in here and one California. That's true. I counted them. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, one California. Now, why why are there so many Colorado license plates? Uh, because my grandma can. Because your, your mom's from Colorado. Do you know that my mom grew up in Bakersfield? I think I did. But my mom and dad lived in Colorado for a long time. And that's yeah. where my mom lives now. And, and Grandma Carrie in February is turning how old? Uh, 90. 90. We're going to have a, we're going to celebrate. So, um, okay, let's figure, let's, uh, let's see what else. Um, morning Cliff. Let's see. Puppies. Anyone ready for puppies? That's great advertising, D. Good job. Um, hi, Audrey. You are running the show by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that was I, I can't wait to go back and watch the recording and see what you were doing. Um, that's awesome. And uh, good morning, Josh. Maybe I should just let you run the show in the future. What? Would that be awesome? Uh, you can bring on all kinds of guests and uh, it'd be a good time. Yes, free advertising for puppies. Let's see. Um, the penguin picture I painted you is like kind of hidden. Oh, well, yeah. no, they can see it. Right there. Yeah, it's like I I put my oh, do you know what, as a though? belly button. I, I'm glad you noticed that because I, I just put that up above it so they can see. Let me take some of these things down. They I can need see. a belly button with my fingerprint. There you oh, should I take the rest down? There we go. Now they can see the whole penguin. And my right belly button in the belly, belly button I made it. <laughs> with my fingerprint. So Donna wants to know if you got with, socks for Christmas. Uh yeah. Yeah. A lot of them. A lot of and socks. I got matching socks with my um... Santa usually brings socks and underwear too. Yes. And I got cactus Pretty socks much the with, un family. with matching um cactus on. Can underwear. you get them? Can you Let's try it? Do I need to do the puppy cam so they can see your cactus socks? Okay, cool. Here we go. We'll we'll get puppy cam back and they can see Yay. your amazing cactus socks. There you go. Ready? There you are. Right and there. I'm matching. Matching. <laughs> I <laughs> sometimes I uh, um I wear mismatchy socks. Yeah. Where did you learn to do mismatchy socks? My brothers. Yeah, yeah. If you'll uh notice anything about the carry boys, it is that they love to um match socks. not wear the same socks. That's their that's their thing. So not like mine. Great question, Donna. Um she also Donna also says a great lesson to learn early on about puppies, right? They are a lot of work. 
Sunshine has been a lot of work, and uh, but we love her. We absolutely adore her. Um, when she was a puppy, like when we got her and we got home, I would sometimes, like when she was new to our family, I would go out there and film her sometimes. That's true. With her cute metal face. It was so cute. And I was just like, she kicked her water bottle. I can't believe you were nervous about doing this today. Right? You are such, is she not such a natural at this, right? Are you a total natural? Yeah. yeah she oh, turned. there's her harness. Her harness. That's harness. her harness. Whatever. Yes. Right, right next to the hacksaw. Hacksaw. I'm going to uh, Let's see. Let's see. Heinz 57 variety. Pitbull, Husky, and German Shepherd D. Okay. That's a, that's a, uh, I would dare to say maybe an aggressive, not aggressive variety. Is that an aggressive variety? I'm going to hack people. No, we're not hacking. I'm kidding. <laughs> that's just where I keep her harness. And it's so fun. I bring her in here. Before we go on the walk, I walk in here with her leash and she immediately jumps up there towards the harness because she knows she gets to go for a walk, which is awesome. Um, yeah, Wayne, loving my studio mic. I got the Blue Yeti. And uh, and it, it it's on this little boom, so it can kind of come down here into view and looks all professional. But we, oh. I try to keep it up out of the out of the way there, so so it it's not a uh, not. See now, if I put it right there, is that going to distract anyone? We'll see. Um, what's a Bakersfield, Donna? Oh my goodness! I you know what I loved growing up in Bakersfield. Now, Audrey's never been to see where I grew up um, in Bakersfield, but- and there was a big dust tornado. <gasps> Audrey, Mary is watching. And Mary, can we just tell you, what did we love that Mary gave us? Hot chocolate bombs. Hot chocolate bombs. If you guys don't know what hot chocolate, hot chocolate bombs are, look it up on the internet. That, Mary, that was, awesome that was like such a special gift and right i love how that marshmallows just pop out of them. they just started they popping up you just put so so you you fill your cup with hot water hot milk, hot milk. i'm excuse me yeah. hot milk and uh that's what we did and um and then you put the hot chocolate bomb down there well, we put the hot chocolate bomb in first and then put it. we put it in oh thank you we put the bomb in the cup Look it up online. Don't worry. The you know, cybersecurity FBI is not going to chase you down because you put the word bomb in the internet. Um, <laughs> and uh, but but you put the bomb in the uh, in the cup and we poured hot hot milk over it, and and then the bomb starts to melt and then suddenly all of these marshmallows, marshmallows little baby marshmallows, uh, emerge, okay. come out, explode. Then you have to mix it. Then you have there. to mix it all together. And you have this delicious, rich, sweet, hot chocolate drink with marshmallows you in it. Thank you, Mary, it. so much. That was uh, like, I think that was had, a fun blessing for our family. You add like hot chocolate powder and marshmallows. Yeah. And put them in like to a circle thing. Hey, your grandma's watching. Dad said it, you use super glue or something <laughs> like that to glue the sides together. <laughs> Okay. I, okay. I did not. Okay. So Audrey, Mary's watching. Grandma's watching. Um, Donna, she was trying to show them a minute ago. Let me see. My dad was from Bakersfield. D, did I know that? Of course. Okay. So D, you bring up Dewar's Candy and Ice Cream Shop. Let me tell you about Dewar's. I went to elementary school. Elementary. Elementary school with Michael Dewar. Okay. So he and his sister Heather are the current owners of Dewar's, uh, I think third or fourth generation in the, I think they're third generation in the family. And, um, and so his birthday parties were the best thing ever. Um, so if you guys don't know about Dewar's, it is, I can't even say it's the best kept secret because it's not a secret. It is what Bakersfield is known for. There are two things that Bakersfield food wise is known for. One is Dewar's and the second is Smith's Bakery. So, um, and, and Dewar's ships their taffy all over the world. So it is, it is amazing. You got to get there. They're called their chews. 
Um, and it's Dewars, D-E-W-A-R-S, not like the alcohol. It's, uh, uh, I think it's, uh, let's get their website here. We're going to, we're going to pull it up. DeWarsCandy.com. Okay. And this is a shameless plug um, for a company out of Bakersfield. Uh, support your small business. And, uh, you know, can let's screen share. We're going to screen share it so you can see see this. I want you to see Dewar's. So this is their website, DeWarsCandy.com. And these things right here, the Taffy Chews. Oh my goodness. Now, granted, they have become famous, so they are not cheap, but they are worth it. So you, you got to check it out. My favorite are the peanut butter, peanut butter chews. Obviously. Yep. So if you want your way to my heart, get me Dewar's candy from Bakersfield. There should've you go. Gone, Best kept gonna, secret in all of Bakersfield. Brought, um, should have brought a Reese's Pieces for dinner. <laughs> um, Shannon, Deli, good to see you on here this morning. Glad you're glad you join us. Um, we'll, we'll see if we get into the Bible here this morning. I hope so. That's our secret. They are so darling, right? She's a natural. Love her personality. Thank you, Sharon. I think so too. Um, this is, we're calling today a daddy daughter date. Doesn't that sound fun? Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Audrey, tell us the best thing about your daddy and the thing that drives you crazy. Wait, uh, like. So you have to, it's like a high and a low with daddy. Uh, the best thing about your daddy. I want to start with the worst. You want to start with the worst? Dad, okay, okay. Daddy yells at me sometimes. Uh, <laughs> it's, it is true, people. And also doesn't let us have gumballs. Those gumballs, which I've tasted before, and they taste good. Okay, that warrants that warrants the the <laughs> the puppy cam. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Back, let's switch back over to Puppy Cam. Great about that. Um, is we have a great daddy. Oh, that's the gumball machine. Now she's like, you won't. He won't let me have my have the gumballs. <laughs> the thing about the gumballs, young lady, is those are like seven years old. No, they're we've had those gumballs longer than we've lived here in Fair I've Oaks. I've tasted them before, and they tasted good. <sighs> They are like rock hard. Absolutely not. They're not rock hard. And they're rock hard. They'll break your teeth. Um, they break my teeth. Let's see here. What did you say you liked about me? Uh, you're my daddy. See, right? Isn't that it? Mm, I love this girl. Okay. Um, okay, that's our secret. Let's see. Audrey, let's see. They live in Reading. Who lives in Reading, D? The puppies? Okay. Um, let's see. Hi, Kathy. Right. I know. I think uh, Kathy Wainscott. Good to see you. It was great to see you Christmas Eve service. Very good to see you Christmas Eve. Um, let's see. Mary said she'll probably make the hot chocolate bombs again. Um, Crystal says you're doing a fantastic job. Good job. I see. I think I think you're a natural. Um, Audrey and Titus make videos together. So, you know, Titus is her older brother. They are um, two years apart. They're buddies and they'll they'll um, they'll get our extra. We have an extra phone and they'll take it and start making these videos, which are so of the good. dog, too, of the dog, too. Yeah. And we took, um, we took this picture. Kathy I... Wainscott, um, Kevin Harvick is from Bakersfield. Uh, Rick Mears is from Bakersfield, and the whole Roger Mears, the whole Mears gang, is out of Bakersfield. So, oh my, yeah. Sometimes Titus took pictures of sunshine putting her like her like nose, like in mouth. Uh, you know her like bars there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She put her like on the top, and it looks so cute. So yep. he took a picture of that and showed mom. Now I'm so I'm guessing that um, the commerce comment from Luke Miller about Valerie Connor giving best peanut brittle, brittle um, is in regard to I was talking about the candy shop in Bakersfield. Um, by the way, the candy shop in Bakersfield is uh, 
it's an old fashioned soda fountain. So you go in there and they make all their own ice cream and, and you go to Dewar's for the sake of buying, getting ice cream, okay? And then they also make ice milk, which is oh so good. And you go and sit at the counter. They have the old soda fountain pull down things and they give you water and you buy your ice cream and then you can go order the chews and, and all that. Okay. Um, DeWars. Yes, Kim Harvey. That's right. Because you went to Bakersfield High School, which was right across the street from DeWars. That's right. Okay. Um, that's two things I'm advertising on fashion. That's right, Decurts. Uh, the puppies and DeWars. And Hector Gomez Valenzuela Mendenciones. Uh, feliz Navidad a Feliz uh, Año Nuevo. Excelente. That's about as good as it gets. So, Audrey, tell me. Um, hi. Oh, we're coming over here. Ah, oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, Valerie, we have been been uh, um, bragging on you and the uh, the peanut brittle. So, um, OK, Audrey. In the last few minutes that we have here together, this has been a fun group on here today. So, uh, D, if you have a picture of the puppies and you want to send them to me, I can uh, put them online. We can we can truly advertise these things. Just uh, if if you're able to pull it off, email it to cliffsy <laughs> at sunrise dot church. Cliffsy at sunrise dot church. Um, I would put out my cell phone number and say, text them to me, but then the whole internet gets my cell phone number. So I'm not going to do that. Audrey, let's, um, what were we going to talk about this morning? Esther. We were going to talk about Esther. What do you love about the story of Esther? I like when she like tells that she's a Jew and someone's going to kill her. Who was going to kill her? Haman. He wants to kill all the Jews. So Haman hated the Jews, didn't he? Right. And so what did he do? Uh, like, How was it um, that he convinced the king to have the Jews killed? Do you remember that part? Uh, like, um, no, I don't think I heard that. Part. OK, that's all right. All right. He uh, you know, got the king to issue an edict and um, didn't realize that it's like they were tr they weren't trusted and he didn't realize that esther and he hated mordecai and he didn't realize that esther was um a jew was a jew right but haman hated mordecai mordecai and who was esther's what a cousin cousin uncle cousin. but he raised esther kind of as his own yeah um and um uh, let me And like the king asked um, Haman to like, tell him what should he he do for the person who saved him. Oh yes, his life. So he said, put him on your horse, and like everybody has to like, cheer for him. And they, and then he said like about it was Mordecai, and then he was like, and Haman was angry. Right. Oh my goodness. Wait, why do I still have this in my pocket? Oh yeah, I remember. Mom handed it to me and I put it in my pocket. Yes, we were racing through the house, cleaning up the house today. Um, so so what ended up happening? Because there's this part in the story where Esther goes to the king, right? Yes. Now, why was it scary? Do you remember why it was so scary for Esther to go to the king? Because no one could go to the king without an invitation, not even the queen. Right, not even the queen. and uh, And so... That meant she was kind of risking her life, wasn't she? But God helped her and like basically made the king let her in. Yeah. God and can do it, that. There can't was he? a crazy rule. We talked about it in church, like in kids' ministry. Go Kimsha. And like uh where like we acted it out. Uh-huh. And like the king, there's this crazy rule that the king had to raise his like thingy. His was his sword or his staff? His staff. What was what did he raise? I think it was his staff. Had to raise it to that meant that he let some. But if he didn't, that means they're directly killed. Oh, that that's right. Is that in the text? Luke, is that in the text? 
Uh, let's see here. And it's pretty amazing when she's let in. That she's let in, right? Yeah. I would say you told that story pretty act. The scepter. It was her scepter. Thank oh, you, yeah. Maggie. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. And what else did we miss? Ooh. So, so now why is it your favorite story in the Bible? I probably like it because like all of it's like good and it's like surprising. Things surprise you. Yeah. I think it actually kind of talks about God in it. How like Mordecai believed in God. Mm -hmm. And he raised Esther as a Jew to believe in God. Yeah. Do you believe in God? When did you accept Jesus into your life? Do you remember uh, that? When my babysitter was here, there oh. at my house, I went to my bed and accepted God. Which babysitter was that? Think was you think it was Mary? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I remember I went or in. Or was Kylie. Or is Ky it could have been Kylie. I remember going into Audrey's room and we were lying there. I was lying there next to her, putting her to bed one night and we were talking and I asked her about accepting Christ and she's like, Oh, I already did that. Right. Yep. I remember that. So that was, I think you were four years old then. Uh, yeah, I, was four. I think you were four or five, maybe. Yeah. I think you were four. Um, so yeah. So uh, what else, anything else we have to tell them? Our dog. I got our dog a new flamingo toys, and so now she has two, and she's running around with a new one. And she's ripped and it's already, it up. And it's already really muddy. Yeah, it's super muddy, and she ripped it up, and yeah. Well, let's see. I think, do you think that's a, a wrap? You think we did okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Anything else we should tell them? Uh, that, that penguin is staring at me. The penguin. Oh, this should we show them what Peter did? Yeah. Yeah, this was kind of fun. So my son Peter, um, one of the gifts he gave me for Christmas um, is I is he had asked me what I wanted for Christmas. I said, well, I kind of need some stuff for the shed, um, and uh, to organize the shed a little more and spruce it up and maybe a little more decorations. And so he drew me a Denver Broncos horse, which of course you all know. With the Blackbird. There's a there's an SR-71 Blackbird on there. And, and the helicopter. No, it's not a helicopter. Wayne, you'll appreciate this. It is a Piper PA-28-180. Um, fixed wing airplane. Because that's... Uh, he asked me for the the airplane that I learned how to fly in, which is what that is. So anyway, so Peter drew that. So I'm looking for a, a mat and something I can use to uh, frame it and hang it up in the shed. So we'll put that up on the back wall as well. Maybe it will replace one of the license plates. So that was kind of fun. And his Christmas lights are still up. And the Christmas lights are still up. We'll keep them up for a little while. That makes it a little more fun. Um, yeah. Shannon Deli, Vanessa's mom, says, great job, Audrey and Cliff. So glad I could tune in this morning. And Micah Paul says, that was awesome. Great job. Good job, girl. Can I um, turn on that light? No, no don't turn on that light. It's okay. nasty. Okay. You, you can turn it on, but it's like, it's not good studio lighting. Okay. All right. Um, next week on the back shed, if you tune in next Monday, um, our guest is going to be Kent Carlson and, um, Kent Carlson was one of the pastors over at Oak Hills, uh, for a while. He is, uh, for quite a while actually. And now he is the regional minister for the NorCal, um, uh, NorCal Association of the North American Baptist the NorCal, what do we call this? Something of the North American Baptist Conference. What our so, dog is NorCal behind Association. the shed. Your sunshine's jumping on the wall out here. Um, and uh, anyway, so uh, Kent will be joining us next week on the back shed. So super excited to really talk about, uh, a lot of people don't realize that Sunrise is part of the North American Baptist Conference and more specifically the NorCal Association. So we have um, kind of a smaller group of affiliated churches uh, that we choose to affiliate with. It's not like a 
formal denomination that controls what we do. They're just, um, they are, they are there so and, and we're a part of them and they're doing some really amazing um, things right now that are, when we talk about that kind of crossroads of culture and the gospel, um, they, they are really doing some cool stuff with that. So Kent and I are going to be talking about some of that uh, next week. And I've got a, I've got a whole bunch of really fun things lined up the week after that on the 11th we'll have uh jim jessup will be here uh we'll take martin luther king day off and then back here on the 29th uh you i'm really looking forward to this one we're going to have career missionaries dave and sherry og uh here and dave and sherry did a work in papua new guinea where um, they literally moved into a tribe, learned the language of the tribe, ended up creating a written language, teaching people to read, read and write in their language, and then translated the Bible um, for them. So it was a, uh, uh, quite a, a work uh, over 30 plus years uh, for them, and we're going to have them on at the end of January. So super excited in the, for that. Audrey, you wrote out a prayer. Do you want to yeah. do you want to do this to close this off this morning? Okay. okay. And let's uh, let's close with that. All right. I think that's a good way. You want to read that? Dear God, thank you for this day and creating us, and thank you for your love and that your love is so much. Amen. Amen. That's a perfect prayer. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. It has been so fun to have you uh, with Audrey and me on the back shed. I look forward to seeing you next week. I um, the dog. And uh, we'll be on Pastors Live Wednesday at 2 p.m. One more. She wants to show the dog. Okay. Let's see if we can show the doggy. Get her. Get her. Get her, get her attention there, Audrey. Where is the dog? Sunshine. No, I don't see her. Mm. There she is. There's the doggy licking the window. Nine months old yesterday, right? Yep. Ours. And there we are. Audrey, let's look back up at the dog at the puppy cam. You guys have a great week from Sunshine, Elsa, Cliff, Audrey, and everybody else. And this is how, watch this. This is how we, we, where do I stop the live stream? Right there. I push that button. It says stop live stream. All right. God bless you all. Have a great week. Bye-bye.